Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to manage GDPR settings in NopCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.1. GDPR, I'm sure you have heard this term several times if you are running an online business. GDPR also stands for General Data Protection Regulations, which is a European Union's new data privacy law, which impacts all companies, whether you are big or small, how you collect or handle personal data about the European customers. And regardless of where you are based, GDPR applies to all companies that offer products or services to customers in Europe. It doesn't matter if your company is in Europe or outside Europe or some other country like United States, India, Russia, China, doesn't matter. If the services or products are offered to European customers, you need to follow the GDPR law. The good news is that NopCommerce got you covered. In the latest release, NopCommerce added all these settings that are necessary for your e-commerce store to make your online store GDPR compliant. So in the latest 4.1 version, NopCommerce added all the settings that you may need to get you started. So let's go into the administration section and see how we can manage all these settings for the GDPR if you are interested in making your store site GDPR compliant. So in the dashboard section, when you go into configuration and settings, and right there you'll see a new settings called GDPR settings. So let's click the settings first. Okay, so by default you may see in basic and advanced mode. Um, and in this case, I have settings disabled. So in order to enable GDPR settings for your NopCommerce site, let's check this box and you will get these options here. For the GDPR settings, NopCommerce is allowing you to, you can log all the asset privacy policy consent, and you can also log all the newsletter consent activities if you are asking your customers to sign up for emails. So if you like your customers to accept all your privacy terms and condition, your privacy policy, you can check this if you like to log that in the database. And if you log the newsletter consent activity you would like to, you should enable the settings too. Let's save. Okay, all right, so now that we have saved, in order to get started with GDPR settings, let's add some consents, a couple of consents on the NopCommerce site so I can show you how you can display the privacy messages for your customers. So I will click the button Add Consent. And right here, I will get to a new page. You can add a message here. Let's say I mention, I agree. You would like your customers to agree to your terms and condition. So I'll mention, I agree to the terms and conditions. Okay. Make this a required field if you like to. This is a required field if you like to you don't have to and if you can like to make it optional you can simply uncheck it now the question is whether you would like to display this message on the registration page while somebody's creating an online account on your store site or if you would like customers existing customers or new customers to see this message on their customer info page in this case what we can do is we can display this message in, let's say, registration. And I will save and continue. Okay, so now that I have added this consent message, so if I go back to the settings, in the list you can see I have this consent message and this will be displayed during the registration process. So now, if somebody goes on your website and click on register, 
Now, when they fill out their information here, at the end, they will see this option. I agree to the terms and condition consent that you can make require or make it optional for your customers. So this way you can get the data and you can log that activity in your database. Now, if I would like to add another message, or in fact, give a message to option to the existing customer, I can either add a new consent or I can add, edit this same consent and I will check on display on customer info page. So now customer who already have account on your NopCommer site, when they go to my accounts on the customer info page, they will also see user agreement here. And now if let's say a user or customer agrees to your terms and conditions. Okay. Now I've saved it and you can see it remembers my selection. Now if I go to customers, GDPR request logs, and you can see all the log for all the customers who are agreeing to your consent messages along with the date and timestamp. You can filter your request by all who agreed, who disagreed. In this case, I don't have any data. You can either see who requested for the export data and who requested for delete customer. And we will go over those settings in a few minutes. So this is how you can manage all the consent messages on your site. Again, this is configuration settings in GDPR settings. Right? Okay. Now, after you have enabled the GDPR standing on your NopCommerce site and you have added all the necessary message for your online store, depending on your product and services, what if a customer would like to request all the data that you have on your online store? Because one of the rule and regulation in GDPR law is that any customer has a right to request data from any online business so they can see what information you have stored in your da database. So let's see. Let's say if somebody uh, from your online store, let's say John Smith, requested all the data. So you will go into customers, click the edit button, and on the customer detail page you can say GDPR settings and you can export the data okay so our export file has been downloaded now if I open the export file you can see this export file includes all the personal information that you have in your database for the customer so if any customer is requesting the complete information that you have on your online store can provide this export file to that customer and this is how you can export the customer data on your NopCommerce site now the second point is that GDPR also allows or supports the law of to be forgotten that means that any customer can request that you need to delete their information completely from your database or your online store so NopCommerce got you covered here too Within the GDPR settings, you can see there's an option called permanent delete. By default, NopCommerce, whenever you delete any customer, it basically marks the customer for deletion. So the customer data stays in the database. All the orders related to the customer stays in the database. So you can go back and see for references if you need to. But the GDPR permanent delete will delete all the data related to the customer completely from the NopCommerce database. So this is something that you can use if any customer is requesting to be deleted from your online store. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can manage all the GDPR settings in NopCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by NopCommerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.